Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve and do a pretty cool little effect, which is like a video through text masking effect, kind of like this. So it's a pretty cool effect and it comes as a recommendation from a subscriber over on Instagram, Curtis Johansson or Johansson, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So we're going to jump into DaVinci Resolve and show you a couple of different ways that you can achieve this effect. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So let's, uh, we're gonna bring our video down and any clip, and I'm just going to delete the audio. All right, so now I've got my video clip here. The first thing we're gonna, the first method, I guess, that we're gonna do is the simplest method. So to do that, what we're gonna wanna do is put the video track that you wanna put the mask, uh, sorry, put the text on, put it on the second video layer or at least above a video layer, an empty video layer. And we're gonna drop a text node, just a simple text node down underneath and you can extend it to however long you need the video to be. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, focus on the text note, uh, the text layer here for a sec. So we're gonna disable this by hitting the letter D on your keyboard. Cool, so now we can play around. So type in whatever you wanna do. We're gonna call it title. And I'm just gonna do that and change the font to whatever you want it to be. Cool, so now we've got the text like that, looking pretty cool. What we're gonna to wanna to do now is, and it's also important, sorry, that the text is white, all right? Because what we're gonna do is jump back to the video layer, hit D, and we're going to change over in the inspector, the composite mode from normal to multiply. And what that's basically gonna do is it's going to it's going to take the information from the layer below, so the black and the white, and that's gonna tell the video editor what to show and what not to show. So black is not gonna show anything, and white is going to basically be transparent. So, I'm gonna go multiply. Boom, and there you go. You got your text showing straight through like that. You can see the video playing underneath, and if you wanted to, you know, play around with the position, you've got your position here, so you can you know, you can animate that. So we could go, you know, to the start here, move the position all the way over here, keyframe it, come to the end, and then we're just gonna move the position back here, and then we can play that through, and we're gonna have the text come through like so. So it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little effect. Now, the reason you wanna make sure that the text is white is this I change the color, you're gonna notice that it will tint the video layer. So if I change it to aqua, it's going to tint the video layer. And so that's obviously not what you want. So we want it to be white. And that allows you to go through into the color tab. And if you want to, you know, play around, maybe chuck a bit of a LUT onto the video layer, you can chuck a, you know, a LUT onto there and do whatever effects you kind of want to do in there, so so that's one way of doing this effect. Now, the next way we're gonna show you how to do it is in Fusion. Reason being is because you can save this off as a project file and use it in future projects without having to do this sort of fiddling around. And it also gives you a little bit more control. So let's have a look at that one now. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna delete this text layer and drop the video layer down and change it back to normal. All right, so we've got our normal video layer and I'm going to put a fusion composition. So in your effects library, under effects, gonna go fusion composition and make it as long as you want the title to be. I'm just gonna make it the same length as the video. And now with the playhead over your fusion comp, we're gonna jump into fusion. Awesome, and now we've got our media out node, nothing there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dra drag, <laughs> rather, a background node and we're gonna connect that into the media out and a text node, and we're going to drag that down into, connect it to the output of the background so that it merges together. Now, normally this is how we would want to do it, because we can type out our title, and then we have it displayed there. But in this instance, we actually want the roles reversed. We want the background to be in the foreground, so, which is, so we want the background to be connected to this little green triangle, and we want the text to be connected to the little yellow triangle. So what we can do is just right click on the merge and go swap inputs. It's also going to give you the shortcut for that. So swap inputs, cool. Now we can't see what we're doing. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the way that these two nodes interact with each other. And it's really simple to do. We're gonna select the merge node and in the inspector, we're gonna go over to the operator. 
So currently the operator is set to over. So the foreground will be over the background. That's pretty standard. And we can do a few different ways. What we're gonna do is do the option held out. And that's where it's going to basically use the information from the background to affect the foreground. So if we do that, boom, all of a sudden we can see the text. And if we scale this up a little bit, so you can see it, this gray checker pattern represents transparency. So if we were to go back to the editor, give it a little second, all of a sudden we can see the video playing behind the text just as before. Now the reason why we would wanna do it this way is because we can actually change the background. In the previous example, the background had to be black. That was just the nature of how it operated. But in this one, we can actually go to the background, go to the little color option, and we can change it to be red, and then we have our red, that's quite bright. There's just, you know, a lot more options in order to sort of get your creativity out there. And that way, you know, when it displays, you can get exactly the effect you're after. And the other benefit of this is that what we can do is we can select these sort of all these nodes here. We can right click settings. So make sure you right click on the node, go settings, save all as and then we can save this settings folder out to the location on your directory for DaVinci Resolve so that you can use it over and over again. If you don't know where that is, um, there will be a video linked up in the top right hand corner so you can see where to save those files. But as you can see here, pretty cool effect and if you wanna animate the text, you... and so you can go to the inspector, go out to the layout and we have our center point so we can just sort of move it off to the right, you know, hit a keyframe, move forward, move it back over here. And then we have, you know, a little thing and we can add a little bit of motion blur to it as well if we want. And that whole animation is going to come over onto the main screen. Pretty cool effect. So there you go guys, really easy and simple effect to do inside of DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me bring more content to you guys. And yeah, if you have any other sort of recommendations for tutorials, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to bring you the content you guys want because that's what we're here for is helping you guys learn DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, anyway guys, until the next video, see ya.